Hey, Sean Johnson here from businessprogrammer.com. In a previous video, I've shown how to uh, create a database table within LibreOffice. However, it just occurred to me that I didn't actually show how to create the database in the first instance. So just to add this to the library, here goes. So let's create a, a new LibreOffice database. So I'm going to click on base database here and we get this dialog box. So create a new database, I'll click next and I'm going to go with the defaults. So I click finish and I'm going to put this into an area called test and I'm going to call it YouTube demo because I was just messing around with one earlier and I'm going to overwrite that place and that's the database created so now that's it basically you just hit new database you decide where you're going to save it and that's your database outside of that uh, this would be a pretty short uh, demo so what I thought is I'd go to the next stage and just create a table so now I'm going to create a table in design view because all everything in the database is dependent on a table that's the central element of everything well let's create a first name field and a last name field. We'll make that text, we'll make the last name text as well. And I'm going to create a phone number. I want to enter a customer ID, but because I'm in the create table in design view editor, it's a little quirky. So first of all, I need to save the table first. So I just click save, click save, and then table name. And it will ask me, do I want a primary key? And I'll say, yes, create me a primary key. And it creates a primary key of ID. Now, the thing is, you, the thing that you also want to do is you're going to want to set the auto value to yes. That way, the table will automatically increment your ID field. You don't want to be putting in ID fields yourself for so many reasons. Um, not chief among well chief among them as your database gets bigger and you put on forms etc you don't it looks messy to have to type in the key yourself in addition to that um, when you're creating forms etc it works a lot smoother if the IDs are put in behind the scenes because IDs drive everything within a database so within this table you have the concept of fields and records the fields being the columns and the records being the rows in spreadsheet parlance. So we've set the auto value to yes. Let's just click save. And let's close it and put some data in just to test it. So I'm just going to drag this out. So we know we now have an auto field because uh, the record is, uh, is, it says auto field in it. And we've got first name, last name. Do not put spaces in your field names, it makes, it a nightmare later on when your database gets more serious and you add more things into it. For example, you would have to put quotes around every SQL command, so you don't want to do that. So here we go, first name. Notice also that within first name that I'm not that I'm not going to have to type an ID in. The, the first record will have an ID of zero and the next record will have an ID of one. There you go, ID of zero. Now let's put in another name and I just tap, if I tab again, and I put in one more. And so we've created three records. Now the thing is, well, we could also have another Sean Johnson with a, so for example, the thing to bear in mind is if you did not have IDs and you did a search on names only as your main identifier, then for example, you would not know whether these are different people, especially when you do some summary type queries. Whereas when you use the ID, this is the gold standard to identify records. So Sean Johnson here will always be record zero and Sean Johnson here will always be record three. And when you're joining tables together and doing advanced queries, it's always the ID that makes the difference between having well ran queries and not so much and having powerful databases and not having powerful databases. Okay, this demo has run on a bit long now, so I think I'll leave it at that for the moment. What you've learned is how to create a database in LibreOffice base and how to create your first table. Hope this was useful. If you found it useful, hey, give me a like. It, uh, it encourages me to uh, produce more of these videos.
I'm Sean Johnson for businessprogrammer.com. Bye for now. Businessprogrammer.com is all about business process automation and getting stuff done without spending a fortune or having to rely on an IT department to solve your problems. My aim is to help you become a wizard at creating solutions that work for you and your team by automating as many things as you can using free and cheap desktop tools such as Microsoft Office, LibreOffice, Python and other resources. For this segment, I really like LibreOffice because firstly, it's free, secondly, it's really powerful, and thirdly, if you're on a Mac, LibreOffice and OpenOffice represent the only desktop office suite that comes with a programmable database, which was the subject of this video. I plan on producing many more free resources, so right now, go to businessprogrammer.com forward slash go forward slash 200 and you will be taken to a page where you can get on my notification list. Using this I will ping you an email whenever I create new tutorials or free courses that may be of interest to you. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get all my YouTube stuff. Bye for now.